Welcome back to another mod guide by DJ the Awesome. In this episode, we are going to be doing Colossal Chests, a very, very useful mod with a lot of limitations, but can be very powerful when combined with other mods. We're going to go over how to build a Colossal Chest, how to interface with a Colossal Chest, how big your Colossal Chests may or may not need to be, the different tiers of Colossal Chests, and how many slots each one has. Let's get right into it. So right here is a very colossal chest. It's bigger than the player. It's uh, honestly, I love it for decorational purposes, which is hey, you know, that's always a reason to unlock a mod. But as you can see, you can open it up and there's a very simple GUI in here with the scroll wheel. It doesn't look like anything's happening because I don't have anything in the chest. But if I place down our colossal chest interface, you'll see that, oh boy, it disappears very quickly. This guy has a ton of space inside of it. Of course, we need to know how to build a Colossal Chest, and to do that, you'll need Colossal Chest Walls, a Colossal Chest Core, and a Colossal Chest Interface. For the 3x3 Colossal Chest, you'll need 24 of these walls, but any Colossal Chest only needs one core, and any interfaces are completely optional, but they give you more space to interact with hoppers, pipes, and other storage mods, so I always like to include an interface just in case. To start, you're going to build the base of the Colossal Chest. In our case, we want a 3x3. You can place your core wherever you'd like. You can place interfaces wherever you'd like. Like this one, if we want to have interfaces on every side, we could do just that. Ooh, okay, I place that in the right spot. Now, when you build up the cube, right, a 3x3 cube, do not fill the center. The center needs to stay hollow on every single Colossal Chest. And when you place your last block, your chest is done. And you can see, because we put in those interfaces, we have these little black dots around the chest, as well as a little gray one where we put the core. As I said before, you can hopper into interfaces. So there you go. It's sucking right into the chest. And you can even hopper into the core if you so desire. That is also being sucked into the chest. And if I try to hopper into just the side of the wall, you'll see absolutely nothing happens. It doesn't know that it's trying to put something in. So you always have to put your hoppers and pipes on interfaces or cores. Now here's our little three x three, but that is not the only size of chest you can make. You can go all the way to a four x four and to the mighty five x five colossal chest. Ah, oh, this is so fun to look at. Now, Normally in Colossal Chests, you could go as big as you please, but in Vault Hunters, for lag reasons, the minimum is three, the maximum is five. Oh, and you can't forget the uncolossal Colossal Chest, this little tiny guy who only has five slots inside of him, like a hopper. Wood is also not the only material that can be used to make a Colossal Chest. You can have a Copper Chest, an Iron Chest, a Gold Chest, a Diamond Chest, and finally, an Obsidian Chest that has the most space inside of it. Keen eyed viewers will have seen that I skipped over one. There is in the base mod a silver chest. However, in Vault Hunters, there is no silver chest. Now, of course, the big question, how much does it cost to build one of these and how much room does it have inside of it? Well, for that, it's time to do a little bit of math, but don't worry, don't click off. I'm gonna be doing the math for you, but I'm also gonna work you through how to do the numbers yourself, so you always have a reference, and if you're ever playing another mod pack that has Colossal Chest in it, you'll know exactly how to figure it out. First up is crafting recipes. This is the crafting recipe for a chest wall, only in Vault Hunters. Remember, this is the Vault Hunters mod pack. If you are in a different mod pack, it's probably gonna be different, because this chromatic iron and driftwood are different different. This, these are Vault Hunters specific items. But if you're playing Vault Hunters, you need four driftwood, four chromatic iron, and any log that will make you one chest wall. For the core, you're just going to need a chest wall and three Laramar. Once again, this will be different in different mod packs. And for the interface, it's going to be four polished vault stone and four driftwood surrounding a core. So you will need the three Laramar in the wall. Interfaces are the most expensive because they require all the previous blocks. And you know what I'm already going to say, if you're in a different mod pack, these are different. So this is the function to determine how many slots your chest can hold. It's the diameter cubed times 27 times the material factor. And you put that all into a ceiling function, which just rounds upwards if needed. Now, I have already done this for you. So if we head over to our 3 3 chest, you need 25 walls in one core. That is going to cost you 104 driftwood, 104 chromatic iron, 26 logs, 3 laramar for the bare bones one core full chest, 
That gives you 729 slots or 46,656 stackable items. For the 4x4, you'll need 55 walls and one core, or 224 driftwood, 224 chromatic iron, 56 logs, 3 laramar. It'll give you 1,728 slots or 110,592 stackable items. And then for the biggest boy of them all, you need 97 walls and one core, which is 392 driftwood, 392 chromatic iron, 98 logs, 3 laramar. But it gives you 3,375 slots or 216,000 stackable items. Boy, these chests can hold a ton, but they get very expensive as you go up. This last value, material factor, I have listed out here. The material factor of wood is 1, of copper is 1.66, of iron is 2, of gold is 3, of diamond and obsidian is 4. Now, I don't want to bog down the video with numbers, 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 so I'm going to put all of the stuff in the description, but if you want to figure it out yourself, since these are the values for wood, right, 729 slots, 1,728 slots, and 3,375 slots, right, you can just multiply that number by the material factor to find it out on your own, but in the description, all of this information, including for all the different chests, is going to be within the description. Now, upgrading your chest to copper or iron, gold, diamond, or obsidian is pretty expensive, as you can see. It basically replaces the driftwood with the block of the resource. Not the ingot or the gem, the block of the resource. So for Colossal Chest Walls, not only do you need the wooden Colossal Chest Wall, but you need four blocks of copper for each one. Same thing for the iron. You need four blocks of iron for each wall, as well as a copper for the gold, four blocks of gold. And instead of chromatic iron, you now need chromatic steel. Gold is where the cost explodes for Colossal Chests. I would honestly recommend that you never make a gold Colossal Chest. It really isn't worth it. By the time you could afford the hundreds of chromatic steel necessary, you probably just want to use a different storage mod. Same thing for diamond. First of all, that's too many diamonds. Second of all, you need more chromatic steel on top of the chromatic steel used for the gold wall and obsidian is ridiculous. Vault diamonds is what you need, as well as chromatic steel, as well as obsidian. So these things get pretty expensive. The core, by the way, is crafted just like the wooden core, except you just have to add a block of the resource. You take the wooden core, three laramar, a block of the resource, and interfaces in the same way, just take the lower tier interface and surround it with the this pattern very expensive i'll have all the material costs in the description once again so a few limitations of colossal chests for one you cannot search your colossal chest there's no way to filter what you're looking at or search so once an item goes in the full of the chest is the more it can just kind of get lost so i would not recommend using this as your primary storage mod another limitation is since we use physical storage here not digital storage 64 diamonds 16 ender pearls and a single minecart all take up the exact amount of space within the colossal chest since we're using slots not digital storage so even though you can hold thousands and thousands of stackable items once you start putting unstackable or like quarter stackable items into your system it's going to take up more and more and more and more and more and more space however you can remedy some of that by integrating this into other mods any mod where you can link an external storage to will work, but simple storage is a great option for another early game storage solution. Simple storage just links right into inventories anyways, and uh, you can see with this link cable, I can dump our polished diorite and it goes right into the colossal chest. If I take it out of the colossal chest, you can no longer see it there. And now we have a search function, a sort function, and can pull items from this much easier. This of course works with, with refined storage and applied energistics, but those you're probably not going to use colossal chests with because by the time you're able to use an RS or AE system, you probably won't want to be spending your resources on these. And one last thing, there is this handy dandy chest upgrade tool. It is a little expensive, a little with the chromatic steel and a perfect laramar. 
but you can use it to upgrade your chests without having to break them as long as you have the items in your inventory, which the mod will actually tell you what you need. It can say not enough items for upgrading this chest. You need a core, an interface, and or you need one core, no interfaces, because there's no interfaces, and 25 walls of at least copper. So if I zap all those items into my inventory and I right click with the upgrade, you'll see it sucks out the walls and cores that I already used and turns it into a copper chest. Very, very cool. Very handy dandy if you're able to spend the extra resources. And you're probably gonna want to because if I put items into the chest and break the core, they all pop out as though, you know, it was one big chest. But I will say, Items will not pop out if you break the walls. So if I pop this in here and dump these items in and break the wall, the items don't come flying out of it, only if you break the core. So there you have Colossal Chests. Most useful in the early game when you don't really have any other storage options aside from like simple storage. But uh, for bulk storage, I believe drawers quickly outclasses Colossal Chests. But admittedly, it's a very fun decoration mod as I've made this giant chest throne. If you ever want the true chest monster in your base. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed. Remember in the description, all the material costs and sizes of chests. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next mod overview. Goodbye, everybody!